Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls 3 Walkthrough. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to continue uh, and finish up the Undead Settlement. Uh, and first head through this tunnel, then do the Curse Rod Great Wood boss. So, first start out by throwing some fire bombs at the vats. Take them out pretty easily. Looks like one dropped a soul item. Nice. Alright, so... So, head here, get the, alright, so, head over here, get the loincloth, uh, we can get absolution, you have not sinned, so, if you kill the shrine handmaid, uh, she will up her price on all of her items, um, and if that's, uh, if you have sinned or killed her, um, depending on how many times you killed her, uh, with a certain amount of souls, you can go here, request absolution, and, uh, it will go back to normal. The price is disillusion. Curse will be lifted for 4,400 souls. So, forgot to show you. So, as you'll be getting these hollowing things, you will start to look, uh, you'll eventually start looking like literal beef jerky. So... First thing, red hilted halberd. Pretty nice. Gonna encounter skeletons. Alright, so we're gonna encounter another crystal lizard that will drop a, uh, heavy gem, I believe. Yep. Get some more titanite shards here. Alright, so up here there's going to be a, a shield that has a uh, blessed infusion on it, but we can't really get it right now. So, uh, right in here there's going to be some rats. Saints Talisman. And now we're gonna get our Faith of Miracle Trainer. Now talk to the guy out here, he's his, her, like, guardian. So he's allied to us as long as we guarantee her protection. I'm 
know what? I'm going to go to the Road of Sacrifices bonfire. So, save this heavy gem. Gonna head back and upgrade my weapon one more time. So now we need large titanite shards. A thief still hasn't returned. I think we have to beat the curse of the great wood first. Uh, let's see. I could buy more of that, but nah. So to the cliff underside bonfire. Gonna kill these guys quickly just to see if I can get more um, fire bombs off of them. So for this boss, we have to hit certain parts of it to do massive damage to it. And then the floor will break and uh, will fall.
Alright, so now we have the transposing kiln. So, let me show you what to do with that. Uh, first, let's, uh, take that. So, there's two items we're gonna get. One of them is a ring, and uh, I'll show you the other one. So, uh, we can either get a, the Hollow Slayer Great Sword. Uh, I'm gonna get Pontiff's Left Eye Ring, because I want to get all the rings. Uh, or Astor's Spear. Um, I'm not gonna get any of these, because I want to level up. But I'd recommend the uh, Hollow Slayer Great Sword. So, it looks like the thief has returned. So, uh, now he has a divine blessing, uh, more embers, a uh, lightning urn, and a bunch of other nice weapons. And more arrow types and stuff like that, so. So this will recover HP with successive attacks, so the more you attack, the more health you will regain. Um... Let's get some more health, why not? Alright, so I think uh, we'll just do the first part of the Road of Sacrifices, and then that'll be where we end it off. Alright, so, um... Gonna encounter these enemies called Corvians, and they will transform. We're also gonna get our next strength weapon here.
Alright, so down here we will encounter an NPC. You could also come here earlier if you want. This NPC will give us the butcher knife. So, Butcher's Knife, pretty nice weapon. A scaling and strength right off the freaking bat. Brigand Hood, gonna get the Brigand Twin Daggers over here. So, if you can manage to get that great machete that I showed you at the beginning of last episode, I recommend just using that instead of the Butcher's Axe as it's gonna do a lot more damage um, and you can get it much earlier on in the long run, so. So drop down here, if you go under the bridge here, you can get a whole bunch of them to drop down to their death. Yeah, so if you go like this. Yep, we can get a whole bunch to to drop to their death pretty damn easily. Alright, then we're gonna encounter these dogs. These are the only dogs in the game I know of that have a grab attack associated with them. Can you calm down, please? Real Divine Tome of Kareem, Mourn's Ring. Nice Shriving Stone that will. Oh, there was a item. Oh, hello. I have this. I will be all we made the name. Oh, 
yes, he's but to quit. We'll be only minute, mate. We'll be only minute, mate. Okay. Um. Alright, so let me show you one item that I actually missed. Alright, so, get Shriving Stone, which can remove any infusions you put on your weapon. So. Right. All right, so now this lady will show up. So she'll help us. Yeah, you can. I. Give us a heavy gem. I. Be safe. So, uh, if you want, just to get the vest, just keep killing yourself over and over, and you'll eventually get the items. So I'm going to buy all those. Now we can buy repair powder from him, more embers, Goodbye. stuff like that. Alright. Alright, so go talk to... Give for this. Uh, get some... So now we can buy all these. I recommend getting 15 Faith just so you can use Tears of Denial. It's really useful. Uh, purchase item, get Saint's Ring, allow more attunement of spells. Alright, so I think the last thing we'll do is show you, uh, so, with this, uh, l lightning urn that we got, we can trade it in with the birds to get Solaire's helmet.
if I can even get up the damn tree. Fuck. 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 God damn it. God damn, that took way too long. Iron helmet. Yeah, so I think uh, I'll leave it there, and next time we'll get start up the crucifixion woods. So I'll see you then.